Hello and welcome to this PVLib Python tutorial. Today I will introduce you to the so-called model chain. The model chain is a easy first approach for you to um, get in touch with the capabilities of the PVLib because it automates certain aspects of the modeling process. We will later on dive deeper into some of these aspects but for now, we want to get our first PV model up and running. So to get started, we import the class model chain from our library pvlib by typing from pvlib.modelChain import model chain. So now that we have the class model chain, we now create an instance of this class to use it in our code. So we type model chain equals model chain. Here we already see that um, the class models chain has certain parameters that we can um, give it. First, we have system and location, which as we can see have no default values compared to all the other parameters. Therefore, the minimum requirement for our model chain instance to work is to define system and location. So we enter them here and I move my cursor all the way to the end of the line and hit control I, which uh, gives us the documentation of the model chain class in the top right window. And we see that the system defines um, our PV system um, alongside the technical uh, aspects like the modules inverters, while the location rep represents the physical location um, of our system on the planet. So we're going to start by creating this location object. So I comment out this line for now by hitting control one. And then I also import the location class from the pvlib library by typing from pvlib.location import location. Nice, I create an instance location equals location. Here um, in this tooltip, we again see the parameters that we can enter uh, for the location. And again, we see latitude, longitude do not have default values, while time zone, altitude, and the name do have uh, default values. Therefore, latitude and longitude are again the ones we need as a minimum requirement for this location object to work. So latitude, longitude. Um, I move my cursor to the end of the line and hit control I again. And we see here in the documentation that latitude and longitude both are float values that we enter here, which means a number with the decimal point. And um, as you may know, latitude and longitude basically define our location on the planet. And so we can choose where we want to have our system by entering these values here. So I head over to Google Maps. And since I live in Cologne, I decided I'm going to place my PV system on top of the Cologne Cathedral. <laughs> So don't get me wrong, I would not actually put PV on the cathedral, but I think it's quite an illustrative example. And as you can see here, it also has a beautiful southern uh, orientation with nice irradiance. So I'm just going to right click here with my mouse and you already see latitude and longitude here. And by left clicking, I copy it to my clipboard. So now that I go back to spider, I enter my values here, latitude and also longitude. Nice. 
So as you can see, the time zones default is UTC, which is not quite where I'm at right now. So I'm going to go to this Wikipedia uh, page here and choose the time zone uh, I'm in. This column, time zone database name, is the one we need. So you just scroll down to wherever you are or wherever you want to place your PV system. So in my case, I have to go all the way down here. Europe, Berlin. And copy that. And I enter TZ equals. And then I enter this as a string. Also, the altitude of Cologne is around 50 meters um, plus the cathedral's roof. So let's say uh, altitude, we should be somewhere around maybe 80 meters. And I'm just going to call this location object um, name equals again a string. Cologne cathedral. Nice. So now I've um, entered all values, even though the ones that were default before to redefine them uh, in order to match my model. And now I can um, hit run and execute this code for now to see if my location object will be properly uh, created. So my code executed without errors. And now I can go in here type location. This on the bottom right is the so-called IPython console. So you can uh, interactively work with your code here. So by entering the name of my location instance uh, in the top, top, uh, bottom right corner um, and by hitting enter, um, I get the output of my location object. So Everything I entered here, Cologne Cathedral, Latitude, Longitude, the Altitude and the Time Zone are now in my location object. And um, that's it for this video. If you ran into any problems so far, let me know in the comment sections below. Also, if you have any questions, concerns or whatsoever, um, leave a comment below as well. Be kind, stay curious and we'll meet again in another video. Bye.